Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're going to do a little housekeeping while we wait for some others to get logged in. It looks like we still have people that are signing in. So I just want to give them a chance to get on and get their sound working and whatever else uh, may be going on. Um, at the end of the presentation, I'm going to open it up for any questions that I may not have answered throughout the presentation. So down at the very bottom right hand corner, you'll see a type your message um, and that will send me a communication and I will try and answer whatever questions you may have at the end. So I'm going to try to leave a little bit of time for you guys to send those in and I will try to answer some of the questions that were submitted on the registration form. If, I, if you have a specific question about a particular tour or something that, you know, you have family heritage in a certain area and you'd like more information, we will contact you uh, directly after the presentation and to give you a little bit more information about that. Um, and also, if you um, have to leave or you have to step away for a little bit, uh, not to worry. We will send a copy of the presentation after the um, the end after um, so you can expect that in your inbox a little later uh, today or tomorrow morning so sometimes it takes a little while for those to load uh, but we'll get that sent out and so without further ado thank you again for joining us today um, we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Brecky tours as well as our tours and services being offered in 2020 We'll journey throughout Scandinavia today via pictures from all the Scandinavian countries. So my name is Amanda Hancock and on behalf of Brecky Tours, we look forward to introducing you to our own favorite corner of the world, which is Scandinavia. And before we get started, I would like to present you with a special offer as a way of showing our appreciation for joining us today. So from now until Friday, January 24th, you can save $100 per person on select 2020 tours when you use promo code WEB20 on your tour application form. And I'll send you a copy of this information um, along with the live presentation link. So you don't have to worry about writing it down or anything like that. Um, but here are the tours that we are offering $100 off, and that is our Images of Norway Tour, Best of Norway Tour A, Land of the Fjords, Taste of Sweden and Norway, Captivating Scandinavia, and Spectacular Norway Tour B. Now, if you don't know anything about these tours, not to worry, because you're going to learn more in just a little bit. But before we start, we're going to give you a little bit of information about who we are as a company and how we got connected to Scandinavia. So Brecky Tours was founded in 1956 when Arne Brecky, a student from Norway, worked his way through graduate school in America by conducting summer tours to Europe. We are a family owned company and we're located in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Brecky Tours offers a wide variety of products and services such as our own escorted tours, independent travel packages, customized tours for individuals, families, and groups, heritage travel, and cruises. Now our goal here at Brecky Tours is simply to strengthen the cultural and ethnic ties between North America and Scandinavia by creating meaningful travel experiences. So why do people want to visit Scandinavia? Well, there are many reasons, but I've summed up a few here. First is the natural beauty and phenomena. There's glaciers, fjords, mountains, forests, the midnight sun, the northern lights. All of these can be found in Scandinavia. And Scandinavia also has a really rich history filled with Vikings, kings and queens, wars, great wealth, hardships, and so much more. It also, um, the culture of Scandinavian countries are uniquely distinct, and yet at the same time, they can be quite similar. So, uh, for instance, nature, family, and education, along with hard work, are all highly valued by the folks living in Scandinavia. Most Scandinavians speak good English, making it an easy place to get around on your own. And speaking of which, the public transportation in Scandinavia is very good. So you have buses, trains, and low-cost flights to choose from, so it's easy to get from point A to point B. And of course, the food. There's fresh seafood, baked bread, fresh fruit. You can find these all across Scandinavia. 
And finally, Scandinavia is a relatively safe destination. In fact, you may see babies sleeping in their strollers outside of shops and restaurants. So why should you travel with Brecky Tours? What makes us different than other tour operators? First and foremost, we are a full service Scandinavian specialist. We have over 60 years of experience in travel within Scandinavia. We travel to our destinations and on our tours so we, we can assist our clients with their vacation. Our tours feature destinations you won't find on other tours and you won't find our tours anywhere else because these are the tours that we've created, we've planned, um, we've been on them, we know what we like, we know what we don't like, that sort of thing. So all of our tours can be customized with side trips to visit areas of heritage. You can add a pre or post tour extension, or if we can't make uh, one of our packages work, we can create something completely customized just for you. And while on our tours, you won't have to worry about added expenses uh, for tours and sightseeing options. What you see in the itinerary is what is included. So you won't get to Oslo and have an optional tour or anything like that. You will have a sightseeing tour included. So no, no additional things like that on, on our escorted tours. And if you want to add a cruise or combine your tour with a visit to another country, that's not a problem. Our staff can help arrange, um, make those arrangements so that you only need to have one contact person for your entire trip. And finally, when you travel with Brecky Tours, you can be sure you will be treated as a valued client. You're not just another body in a seat. Our goal is to make our, your travel experience meaningful, which means providing you with excellent customer service from the first phone call until you return home from your trip. Now in 2020, we are pleased to offer 14 different tour departures during June, July, and August. And if you need help deciding which tour option may be best for you and your traveling companions, I would recommend contacting our office either by phone or email to talk with one of our staff. We can help you narrow down your options based on areas of interest, which destinations you would like to be included, your heritage connections, and more. But no matter which escorted tour you decide to join, some of the key points, um, there are some key points that are included in all of our tours. And the first of which, you are getting a good value for your travel budget. Scandinavia can be expensive, but by taking advantage of group discounts, many clients feel they receive much more than what they paid for. And most of our tours do involve a bit of walking each day. However, with that being said, if you do have mobility issues, please call our office and talk to one of our agents. We can help ease your concerns and make recommendations suited for your activity level. Now we do allow free time in larger cities such as Oslo, Bergen, uh, Stavanger, Stockholm, and Copenhagen. Our tours typically start around 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning, and we try to have you to the hotel later, no later than 6 or 7. We also offer luggage handling at most hotels, and our tour director will meet you at the arriving airport in Scandinavia and stay with you until you depart the tour. You'll also notice that most of your meals are included in the itinerary. We also try to include special meals such as dinner at a local farm or at a unique location. And for your comfort, all of our tours are on first class touring coaches. With large windows, reclining seats, foot rests, and even bathrooms on board, you can sit back and relax while our uh, wonderful bus drivers, they're really, they really are pretty good, um, they'll show for you around in style. And finally, all of our tours can be customized with either pre or post tour extensions within Scandinavia or beyond. So we've had people that, you know, they have family in Norway and in Germany or in other parts of Europe. And so we can help you with those arrangements um, and help you see those other places where your ancestors came from. Now on all of our escorted tours, um, you will get visits to Bergen and Oslo, as well as a journey through the fjord country. In addition, you'll also get to see a stave church which is one of the iconic symbols of Norway. Another activity that's included in all of our tours is a ride on the famous Flum Railway. It's ranked as one of the top 20 train rides in Europe, so it's something that we feel that all visitors to Norway should experience. So who will you be traveling with? So while our, on our tours, you will meet a variety of people, but in general, these people are from the US and Canada. They'll have ethnic ties to Scandinavia, 
and they enjoy learning new things and seeking out new experiences. On tour, you'll meet people that have traveled to other destinations around the world, as well as those that are experiencing their first trip overseas. Some of the other interests commonly found among our tour participants include history, embroidery, folk music, dancing, hiking, uh, and other outdoor activities. Now our tour director will typically meet the group at the arriving airport within Scandinavia and stay with you until you arrive at the departing airport. Our tour directors hail from the US as well as Scandinavia and English is the only language on the tour. However, we do try to throw in a little of the local language throughout for those that are inclined to learn some new words and phrases. We'll also have local guides that will join the group for short periods of time. They are there to provide detailed information about a museum, a city, or historical site. If you're unsure where you'll be staying while on tour, it's not to worry. All of our hotels on our escorted tours are first class or superior tourist class hotels. These are usually found in the heart of major cities and they're within walking distance to major main attractions so that during your free time you will be perfectly located to explore on your own. Now in the countryside we tend to use hotels along the fjords or situated in the mountains which is ideal for hiking or relaxing. Many of the hotels that we frequent are historic properties with an interesting history. Whether they served as a German headquarters during World War II or were transitioned from a warehouse to, into a beautiful waterside property, all the hotels will have a private bathroom with a shower or tub. You'll also enjoy a Scandinavian breakfast buffet every morning, and some hotels offer additional amenities such as swimming pools and guest laundry facilities. Now, while traveling on our escorted tours, you'll primarily get around by first class motor coach. Um, whether you're on one of the larger buses or the smaller ones, you'll travel in comfort with large windows, reclining seats with footrest, and personal comfort controls for the AC. You can sit back and relax as your driver gets you from point A to point B. We'll also enjoy train rides throughout magnificent scenery and cruises along the fjords and waters of Scandinavia. Now to give you an idea of what to expect during a typical day on tour, here's a short summary. So we'll start with breakfast at the hotel and then the group typically departs between 8.30 and 9, depending on what is scheduled for the day. We do include several stops throughout the day for food, bathroom breaks, and activities. And on board the bus, the tour director will keep the group entertained with information, songs, language lessons, and more. And then the group will arrive, will arrive at the hotel in the evening and usually there is time for a walk, relaxation, or even a swim before dinner. Now before the group goes their separate ways in the evening, the tour director will advise of the departure time for the next day. So that way you'll know what time you need to get up and get ready to go. So now that you know a little bit more about Brecky Tours and your fellow passengers, we'll delve a little deeper into what you'll see and experience while on our 2020 Escorted Tours. And we'll start with our tours to Norway. Now, Spectacular Norway is one of our most popular tours and is a great introductory tour for first time visitors. It's similar to our other popular tour, which is Best of Norway, but instead of setting, heading south to Stavanger, you'll travel north to Trondheim. So we have three departures on this tour, one in June and two in July. During this 11-day tour, we'll visit Oslo, Vos, Bergen, Loen, Molde, and Trondheim. And for those of you that are interested in visiting the Art Nouveau town of Olesund, we'll spend a night there on Tour B. So on Tour A and C, you'll spend the night in Molda, and on Tour B, you'll spend the night in Olesund. So something a little different for those that maybe want to experience um, either Molda or Olesund. Now after arriving in Oslo, you'll have two nights here before setting across uh, Norway to Vos and then from Vos you'll enjoy a day excursion to Bergen where you'll have a sightseeing tour and time on your own. 
On day six, we'll continue north to Lowen, where we'll have two nights there at the charming Alexandra Hotel. And then after an excursion in the area, continue northwards toward Trondheim, with a stop in either Molda or Olesund along the way. We'll arrive in Trondheim on day nine, where you'll have two nights before returning home. At 11 days, this tour covers a wide range of Norway's highlights, including a sightseeing tour in Oslo, Bergen, and Trondheim. You'll get to drive the Atlantic Ocean Road, cruise the Geiranger Fjord, visit the Hardanger, Hardanger Fjord Nature Center, ride the Flum Railway, visit Brixtel Glacier. You'll have a tour of Irgen Kisport, which was used by the Germans during World War II. And of course, you'll get to visit the stunning Nidaros Cathedral in uh, Trondheim. So if that's something that might interest you, here are the prices for this tour. Um, you can see the price the uh, includes airfare from Minneapolis. And if you are flying from a different city and would like to purchase your own airfare, then you'd want to look at the land only price. So that's how those prices are um, divided up. And it will be the same for each tour. There'll be a price with airfare from Minneapolis, a land only price, and then a single room supplement. So if you're traveling as a single, um, there is a small supplement uh, for each tour to have a room all by yourself. But um, if you're open to rooming with someone else, we are happy to try and arrange that. Although it would be, uh, you would be rooming with someone of the same sex. So we don't play matchmaker, sorry about that. But um, if a uh, roommate is something you're willing to do, we are more than welcome to, or we're more than happy to try and accommodate that for you. So moving on to our next tour, which is Best of Norway. Um, another good tour for the first time visitors to Norway, especially if you have um, heritage connections in the Stavanger area, or if you just wanna see that area of Norway. We also have three departures on this tour, one in June, one in July, and one in August. Now this is also an 11 day tour. It also begins in Oslo, but uh, you will travel north to Lillehammer before going over to Geiranger and Lowen. And then you'll turn south to visit Vos, Flam, Bergen, Avalsnes, and Stavanger. So you'll meet your group at the welcome dinner at the Grand Hotel on, in Oslo on day two. Here you'll have two nights and then depart for the Olympic town of Lillehammer. You'll spend the night in the mountains and then continue the next day to Geiranger and Lowen. The next night will be spent in the Fjord country at the Flamsberger Hotel in Flam. You'll enjoy a ride on the famous Flam Railway and a cruise on the Ireland and Nere Fjord before driving to Bergen. And then from Bergen, you'll continue down the coast of Norway to Stavanger, and that's where the tour will end. Now, some of the many highlights on this tour include sightseeing in Oslo, Bergen, and Stavanger. You'll have lunch at a family farm, an excursion to the Brixdale Glacier, a tour of the um, a Nord Vegan History Center in Anvalsnes, which was the home to the first Viking Kings. Uh, so you can see this price is uh, the same as our Spectacular Norway. They're the same length and one just goes south and one goes north. So depending on what your preference might be, either one of these tours would be great uh, for those that are just kind of wanting a um, general tour of Norway. So our next tour is Norway Scenic and Historic, and this is probably our most comprehensive tour of Norway. It's also one of our most popular tours in the past couple of years, thanks to a little movie known as Frozen. So we have one departure on this tour, it's July 23rd through August 5th. And the reason for this increase in popularity is that we include a visit to Roros, which was the inspiration behind the movie setting. Other areas that are visited include Oslo, Lillehammer, Selbu, Trondheim, Stiklestad, Molde, Lowen, Geiranger, Flam, Bos, and Bergen. So you do get to see quite a bit of Norway in these 14 days. And this is a great educational tour. Um, it includes visits to some of Norway's most historical sites, but you'll also get to enjoy a variety of Norway scenery. You'll visit Roros and have time uh, to attend the St. Olaf Festival in Trondheim, which truly make this tour unique. 
Now, in addition to sightseeing in Oslo, rural Trondheim and Bergen, you'll get the opportunity to explore some sites made famous during World War II. You'll get to visit ancient cathedral ruins and the site of the Battle of 1030. From Vikings to the German occupation during World War II, these sites tell the history of Norway, her people, and what they have achieved in this remarkable and beautiful country. So this is a 14-day tour, so it is, is, is a little bit longer, but um, you do get to see so much of Norway and get to experience so much. So it really is a great tour. Our next one is Splendor of Norway, and this is our shortest tour at nine days, and it's ideal for those wanting to combine um, a sample of Norway before exploring maybe some heritage sites independently or combining a tour with a cruise or an extension to Sweden or Denmark. So if you want to spend a little bit more time in um, Scandinavia, this would be a great tour to get you started, and then you can set off on your own for your own adventure. Now we do have two departures, um, both will start in Bergen and then we'll travel to Vos where we'll board the Flam Railway. You'll cruise across the Songne Fjord to Balestrand and then proceed to the Hardanger and Telemark regions en route to Oslo. In addition to staying at some of Norway's charming hotels, such as the Kvignes Hotel in Balestrand and the Ullensvang Hotel in Loftus, which you can see um, the Ullensvang Hotel here in this top left-hand corner, you'll also get to enjoy visits to Hopperstedt Stave Church, the Hardanger Vida National Park Center, and the Norwegian Industrial Museum, where Nazis produced heavy water for their atomic bomb experiments. So although this is our shortest tour, there is no shortage of sightseeing and activities. So you'll have overnights along the fjords um, and then learning about the German occupation of Norway during World War II. It's a great tour for wanting to see the highlights of Norway in a shorter amount of time. And then our last tour of Norway is our Song Vos Valdres Heritage Tour. So if you have heritage connection in these areas, this would be a great tour for you to uh, take a look at. So you'll meet your genealogist slash guide in Bergen and then travel with her through the Song Vos and Valdres areas to Oslo. Along the way, you'll have the opportunity to explore these areas and perhaps even reconnect with living relatives. So after departing Bergen, you'll travel to Vos for a two-night stay. And then from Vos, you'll travel to Vik and then across the Songne Fjord to Songdal. The next day, you'll drive this thrilling Stalheim Road with its 13 hairpin bins. From Stalheim, you'll continue to Fagernes for a two-night stay before the tour comes to an end in Oslo. In addition to traveling with the genealogist through Norway, you'll also have a chance to discuss and research your family history before traveling. Uh, so that way you can find out more information about your ancestors and maybe even uh, living relatives that are still there today. So um, it's a great, place, uh, great tour for seeing those areas that are important to your family's history. So now that you know a little bit more about the tours in Norway this summer, we'll take a look at two of our tours that include Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Um, we'll start with our taste of Sweden and Norway, which we'll focus on these two countries, and then we'll follow it up with Captivating Scandinavia, which visits all three. So uh, departing on July 9th, this is a 10-day tour that offers a sample of both Sweden and Norway. So there's not a lot of tours out there that um, include Sweden, so we've had some requests for that, which is why we came up with this tour. So we hope, um, hope we have people that enjoy visiting both countries. Uh, it's a great option, and it covers many of the highlights of both, such as Stockholm, Uppsala, Oslo, the Fjord Country, and Bergen. Starting in Stockholm, you'll visit the Stockholm City Hall and the Vasa Ship Museum on a half-day tour. 
And then in Uppsala, you'll tour the inspiring Uppsala Cathedral. You'll also visit the home of Carl Larsson, which is one of Sweden's most beloved artists and the center for the production of the famous Dala Horse. So everybody knows the Dala Horse and the symbol of Sweden. So you'll get to visit that before you cross into Norway. In Oslo, you'll to tour Vigeland Sculpture Park and the Viking Ship Museum before departing for Norway's majestic fjord country, ending in Bergen. Featuring both highlights of Sweden and Norway, this is a unique tour that gives you the opportunity to explore both countries in 10 days. So it's a great tour. Um, you get about five days in each country, which is a nice balance, I think. And then our last tour featuring uh, Scandinavia, it includes visits to Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. It's a 14-day tour, and it has one departure July 18th through the 31st. So upon arriving in Bergen, you'll travel to Flam and Oslo before you cruise to Copenhagen. From there, you'll cross, um, from Denmark, you'll cross into Sweden's Kingdom of Crystal, Gothenburg, and then finally to Stockholm. So this is a great tour if you want to experience all three countries at once. And in Norway, you'll visit Bergen, ride the Flam Railway, cruise the fjords, You'll visit Borgen Stave Church and enjoy a tour of Oslo. From Oslo, like I said, you'll take an overnight cruise to Copenhagen for a chance to explore this historic city. Now, before departing Denmark, we'll tour Fredericksborg Castle, which was built as a royal residence for King Christian IV of Denmark and Norway in the early 17th century. So we'll have a chance to view inside some of these um, some of these pictures here on the one in the bottom right hand corner gives you kind of a glimpse inside the the castle so it's quite beautiful inside now after visiting the castle we'll continue to boss show in the kingdom of crystal the kingdom of crystal is a region of sweden which contains 15 glassworks dating back to the 18th century so after an overnight in boss show the next day we'll visit costa boda and we'll have a hitzel lunch with traditional food and music before we drive to Gothenburg. You'll have free time in Gothenburg to pick and choose what you wish to see in this lively town. You'll have a sightseeing tour in Gothenburg and then we'll travel on to Stockholm where we'll enjoy a tour of the city and the visit to the Vasa Ship Museum. For those that want to see it all, our Captivating Scandinavia tour is a great option, but we do offer partial tours as well if you just like to visit Norway and Denmark or Denmark and Sweden, so that can be easily arranged. If that would be of an interest to you, please give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out with that. Now we have two more tours to talk about, and these are special interest tours that are exclusive just for 2020. And the first, Through the Lens, is a photography tour featuring some of Norway's most iconic hotels and sites. And then the second offers the chance to test your hiking, biking, and rafting skills. So through the, through the Lens, you'll get a chance to capture images of beautiful Norway, learn about Norwegian traditions and history on an unparalleled educational travel experience, with National Geographic explorer Erica Skolk. Um, she'll also be joined by uh, Vesterheim Norwegian American Development Officer Kirsten Heine, and then our own guide, Marianne Ropi. So if any of you are past travelers and have traveled with Marianne, you know how great and wonderful she is. So she's gonna be guiding this tour, so it should be a lot of fun. You'll get a chance to improve your photography skills um, in a place that it's hard to take a bad picture and you'll learn from an expert and others in your group. So it's, it's nice to get that um, immediate feedback and how to make improvements. You'll stay in superior class, superior first class hotels and from a fairy tale castle overlooking the city to Norway's best preserved hotels along a majestic fjord. You'll visit national treasures and places off the beaten path on this 13-day tour. 
Now you will have a chance to photograph some of Norway's most picturesque landscapes, such as the Hanseatic Wharf in Bergen, the Ireland and Nere Fjords, famous waterfalls, Rosendahl Barony, and Apple Farm and more, all while receiving feedback from the tour's photography expert and others in the group. You'll also be staying at some of Norway's most beautiful and historic hotels, such as the Opus Hotel in Bergen, the Sandven Hotel in Norheimsen, Fleischer's Hotel in Vos, the Ullensvang Hotel in Loftus, the Holmenkollen Hotel in Oslo, and of course the Dalen Hotel, which um, offers gorgeous views, gourmet dinners, and a rich history. So all of these hotels promises um, to give you a memorable stay that you'll think about for years to come. So if you would like to join this special tour uh, for a chance to improve your photography while traveling through beautiful Norway and staying at first class hotels, all it takes is a call to our office to get started. Now our very last tour is designed for those seeking an active adventure. So you'll have the opportunity to hike Pulpit Rock. Uh, you'll have a three hour rafting adventure You'll take a cruise along the coast of Norway. You'll have a visit to a family farm and free time for so many other activities. So starting in Oslo, you'll travel to Fagernes and Vosset, where you will visit your guide's family farm. Now after a day free for biking or hiking in the mountains, you'll continue to Flom and you'll have a free day there where you can enjoy even more adventures, such as zip lining. Um, you could take a rib safari, there's hiking and biking there as well. And then finally, you'll continue on to Bergen before cruising to Stavanger, where you will end the trip with an invigorating hike to Pulpit Rock. But it's not all about the activities. So you'll also get a chance to enjoy some of Norway's culture, food, and history with sightseeing in Oslo and Bergen, a farm dinner, and a visit to the Valdres Folk Museum. So it's a nice combination of both. So if the activities are what you're wanting to learn more about, um, so I mentioned the three hour rafting adventure, it's suitable for just about everyone. You'll also get a chance to hike Pulpit Rock, is, um, which uh, you may have seen in the latest um, Mission Impossible movie. So that was, that was not in India, it was in Norway. Uh, during your free time in Flam and Vasset, you can choose your own adventure, so you'll have time where you can um, enjoy a bike ride, you can go zip lining in Flam, take a rib safari in Flam, uh, hike to the Brecky waterfall in Flam maybe, and then there's so much more that you can do. So if you want a tour that offers just a little bit more thrill than our average tour, then this is the perfect one for you. So it is, um, there is one departure and it is departing in July. So if that's something that you're interested in, please uh, feel free to give us a call. All right, so now we're gonna kind of shift gears and talk about our independent travel options. So um, if you are interested in combining an escorted tour with an independent travel, um, activity or an option, then that's something that we are more than happy to help you with. Whether it's a fjord tour, a self-drive tour, adventure tour, or winter packages, our independent travel options, they can be found online, or if there's something that you can't find what you're looking for, we can customize something just for you. So for those that are wanting to book an escorted tour but want a little bit more time in Scandinavia, simply ask us to arrange a tour extension. We'll work with you to create a customized tour package to any of the Scandinavian countries, Russia and beyond. So I mentioned Germany earlier. If you've got, um, we've had people go to Poland, uh, go to Scotland and Ireland. So wherever you wanna go, we can, we are happy to help you get there. So some of our popular independent packages is the ever popular Norway in a nutshell. And this can be done in three or six days. You can also customize this package to include additional nights along the way. So that typically starts in Oslo or in Bergen and goes to one of the other cities. So Oslo to Bergen or Bergen to Oslo. 
Along the way, you'll do the Flum Railway, cruise the Ireland and Narray Fjords, and of course, drive thrilling Stalheim roads. So those are the highlights of that trip. Uh, the Nordic Delight tour that we have, um, it includes visits to the Scandinavian capitals of Oslo, Copenhagen, and Stockholm. The ex you can also add extensions to Helsinki and St. Petersburg, Russia, or you can start in Bergen, and that way you can add a visit to the fjord country. Now, Iceland has become a frequently requested destination, and one of the best ways to see this unique country is to rent a car and drive the Ring Road, which circles Iceland. And this can be done in as little as nine days. Now, if you're wanting to see the Northern Lights, you have that on your bucket list, you want to get it checked off, you can travel to Tromso, which is situated in the heart of the Northern Light Zone. You can enjoy some fun and adventure on our Northern Lights Explorer. Um, it includes some, uh, some fun winter activities. And then uh, the other option would be to travel to Iceland, which is the land of the Northern Lights. It's a, this tour is a short getaway, and it includes visits to South Iceland, which is an ideal location for the search for the Northern Lights. Now, the nice thing about all these packages is that the planning has already been done, and these itineraries are tried and true. So for additional independent packages or to request a customized itinerary, you can visit us online or give us a call or send us an email. We are happy to help you out. Now, if you cannot find anything that you have in mind and you want something completely customized, we do offer that service. We can do that for individuals, couples, families, and groups. So from one to 100, we, we can customize a tour just for you. We can include all of the arrangements needed, including drivers, guides, and more. Your tailor-made tour is based on your interests, areas of heritage, budget, and more. All it takes to get started is a call or an email to our office, and one of our staff um, will be happy to help you. So some of the groups that we've worked with in the past include church groups, museums, the U.S. Lighthouse Association, choirs and bands, both in the U.S. and in Norway, dancers, World War II theme tours, architecture, quilting, art and music, agricultural tours, and more. So if you're in a quilting group and you think that you maybe want to go check out the Hardanger um, area of Norway, give us a call. We are happy to put something together for your group. And um, yeah, we, we have done that in the past and we'll be happy to do it again. Now, if cruising is your preferred method of travel, Brecky Tours can also assist you with your travel plans. Now, whether you choose to explore the coast of Norway on the world's most beautiful voyage or explore the kingdom of the polar bear, we are happy to help you by providing advice, travel tips, and more. So, Hertogruten's Norwegian Coastal Voyage is a very easy way to explore the northern reaches of Norway. They also offer a variety of cruise itineraries featuring Spitsbergen, Iceland and Greenland, Europe, Antarctica, and more. Now, in 2021, they are going to start offering a new type of trip along the coast of Norway. It's the Norway Expedition Cruises. So if you are interested in that, they are already taking bookings. Um, so give us a call. We are happy to send you information. That way you can look at that. And if you want to start planning, we can help you get that booked. Hertogruten does offer early booking discounts as well. So if you are considering a cruise for 2020 or 2021, now is the time to book. So it's always better to book sooner rather than later. And another popular cruise featuring Scandinavia is a Baltic cruise with visits to Germany, Estonia, Russia, Finland, Sweden, and Norway. It's a great way to get a taste of the Baltic capitals in only 12 days. So for more information about these cruises, or if you'd like to explore further cruise options, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. And now we move on to the Q&A session. So I'm going to first open um, with the questions that were submitted on the registration form. And then if you do have any questions, uh, please feel free to send those in. The bottom right-hand corner is where you'll find the um, 
the chat. It'll say type your message. So you can send your questions in there and I will try and answer those. I may not have all the answers right away, but I'll try my best. So first off, what clothing should I pack? And that's probably our number one question. Um, we always tell people to bring clothing that you can layer. Casual clothing is the norm for our tours and you'll want to bring good walking shoes. You'll also want to bring a jacket and perhaps a raincoat. Other things you may want to pack include an umbrella and poncho, snacks, medication, including over-the-counter medications like aspirin, uh, sunscreen, and a small day pack where you can put sweaters, a water bottle, and some snacks. So, but for the clothing, mainly I would recommend things you can layer. So like an undershirt, maybe a sweater, and then a, an outerwear um, type jacket. So, because usually mornings are a little bit cooler and the evenings are a little cooler. And then during the daytime, while you're out moving around, you may get a little warm so you can take, take something off. So, uh, when is the best time to visit Scandinavia? And this is a tough question to answer because it's really a personal preference. So if you would like to travel during the warmest months, then June through August would be the best times. And you can expect temperatures in the 60s and 70s in the lower regions of Norway or Scandinavia, and then 50 to 60s in the upper regions. So now if you'd like to avoid crowds, you may wish to travel in May or September. Uh, the weather is still nice, but there's fewer visitors. So, um, but if seeing the Northern Lights is on your list of things to do, then you will need to travel between November and March, so the winter time. You'll also want to plan your trip north of the Arctic Circle for the best chance to view the lights. So that would be uh, for Norway, you're looking at like Boda and North. So, um, so way up there. Um, and then in Iceland, pretty much all of Iceland is above the Arctic Circle. So you can pretty much just go anywhere in Iceland. So. Uh, physical requirements for escorted tours. So a typical day on our escorted tour will have about two to three hours of walking, but it's broken up over the day. So some, day, uh, some stops you'll only have a five minute walk and then others there may be a 10 to 15 minutes. So for those with mobility issues, you always have the choice whether or not you wish to take part. So um, if you do have concerns about that, I would really stress to call and talk to one of our agents because then we can kind of answer your questions, kind of get uh, the feel for what issues you may have and what concerns you may have so that we can address those appropriately. How many people are on a tour? Uh, the number of people traveling together on one of our escort tours can vary, but you can typically expect 30 or more on some of our popular tours, such as Best and uh, Spectacular, and then about 20 to 25 on some of our more out-of-the-way uh, tours, such as Songvos, Scenic and Historic, and uh, Captivating Scandinavia. We do only operate one bus though, so at the most you would travel around 40 people. So uh, so even with those 40 people on the board, uh, the bus, it really, we, we leave seats empty so there's no overcrowding or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, will we have free time? Yes, all of our tours do include a bit of free time so that you have the opportunity to pursue your own interests while in Scandinavia. We don't wanna occupy your time 24 hours a day. So many people take the time to explore art museums. You can go shopping, uh, visit with friends and relatives in the area. If additional time is needed for a particular visit, we can make those arrangements with you prior to departing the US. So, and then can I add extra days while on an escorted tour? Yes, you can. If you would like to spend a little bit more time in Scandinavia or take a day out of the itinerary to go visit family heritage sites, we are happy to help you with those arrangements from just adding an extra hotel night to booking an extended stay or figuring out how to get you from point A to point B and then back again. That's what we're all about. So, and then finally, are flights from other cities available? So if you've noticed um, all of our tours have pricing with flights from Minneapolis. So if you're not in the Minneapolis area, yes, we are happy to help you um, with flights from other cities. So we can either get you a connecting flight or we'll have you um, fly just a completely different airline, whatever the case may be. So we'll give you some quotes, give you the best options and uh, let you decide. So whether you live on the East Coast, Canada or even Alaska, we, we can do it for you. 
Um, if you are planning to use miles or something like that, then that has to go directly through the airlines because they unfortunately won't allow us to book those. But um, we can at least give you some flight options. That way you can take that to the airlines and book that directly with them. So we have some questions coming in. So great. Uh, the first one, interested in Helsinki to St. Petersburg and back prior to a tour. So we do have a visa-free cruise that you can do. So there is a five-day cruise that will take you from Saint, uh, from Helsinki to St. Petersburg, and you'll have a couple of nights in St. Petersburg before you return to Helsinki. So, and you don't have to have a Russian visa, which is a really nice option uh, for those that don't really want to have to spend that extra money on that. Um, and then there's also a train that you can take from Helsinki to St. Petersburg, but that one does require a visa. So we do have some options for you. Um, and then from Helsinki, we can get you either to Stockholm or to Oslo, wherever the tour may start. So that's something that we can help you with. Uh, so if you, I can send you some more information on that after the uh, call or the, the presentation today. And then somebody asked if I have a CPAP. So CPAP machines are um, okay to take on the airplane. So if you plan on sleeping on the plane, that is something that you will want to bring with you. And there are plugs on the plane where you can plug that in. The only thing that the airlines require is the model number and the, uh, the manufacturer um, and that sort of thing. We have to get that approved before you fly. So if you could please send us that information before you fly, um, we'll get that over to the airlines. They'll approve your device and it won't count toward your luggage or anything like that. So good question. How much money should I bring? Huh, this is a hard question too. Um, so it really kind of depends on your personal shopping preferences. So for me, when I travel to Norway or Scandinavia, I might get maybe two or three hundred dollars out um, just to have some cash on hand. But a lot of times you'll find that most um, hotels, um, restaurants, shops, whatever, will take credit cards. So if you have a Visa MasterCard, you are OK. Uh, the, bi the biggest issue that I want to bring up about using cards overseas is that you will want to let your credit card company know that you will be out of town and where you will be and what dates you will be gone so that they don't put a fraud hold on your card because that would be the last thing you want to do is to get overseas and have no credit cards to you. So always a good idea to let them know where you're going and anybody that signs up for our escorter tours we send these little reminders and our packets of information so um so we do try to avoid this um for anybody so uh all right antarctica cruise i can send that information to you that is not a problem and then da -da -da -da. Yes, so uh, we had a question about someone wanting to spend some extra days in Norway and Sweden and then extending to visit relatives. Um, so yes, that is something that we are happy to help you with. We always try to um, assist wherever we can when people are trying to contact relatives and things like that. So we would be more than happy to help you make those connections and arrange um, transportation to Goatland. So that is not a problem. And then we had another question about cell phone use. Now, unless you have an international plan, most cell phones will not work in Scandinavia. Um, now, a caveat for that is that if you connect to the Wi-Fi on board the bus, which we do have Wi-Fi on board our buses, or at the hotels, you can use video conferencing um, type technology. Um, I have an iPhone, so it's FaceTime, so something similar to that, um, to call back home. So it's a call that's placed over the Wi-Fi instead of using your cellular service. Uh, so the best thing to, to do, it would be first check with your cell phone company to see what um, international plans are, see how expensive they are. Otherwise, I would take advantage of the Wi-Fi in order to stay in touch with people back home. And what type of currency is used in Norway? Well, that is a great question. Actually, each Scandinavian country has their own currency. So Norway has Norwegian kroner. 
Sweden has Swedish kroner. Denmark has Danish kroner. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Um, Iceland has Icelandic kroner, but Finland has Euro. So they had to be different. Um, so each country has their own. They are not interchangeable. So when we have um, our tours like Captivating Scandinavia, where we are traveling between countries, we take some time where we can exchange some money before we move on to the next one. So, um, so that is a good question. And then another option would be, of course, to use credit cards um, between the countries so that you're not having to finagle which is which because sometimes they do look a little similar. So um, great question. Do we have any more? I am here for another 10 minutes, so please feel free to, to ask those questions now. While we're waiting for anybody else to send in questions, I'm gonna throw this, um, oops, I went too far. The special offer uh, that we have going on until the 24th. So if you are interested in any of this, any of these tours that are listed here on the screen, Images of Norway, Best A, Land of the Fjords, uh, Taste of Sweden and Norway, Captivating, or Spectacular Norway Tour B, that's the one that goes to Olesund. Uh, you can save $100 per person when you use the promo code WEB20 on your tour application form. So I don't see any other questions. If you're like me, you'll probably think of something as soon as we hang up. But if you do have a question that you think of later, you can reach us at one of these three, in one of these three ways. There's our phone number and then our email address and of course our website. So, um, oh, we do have another question. Do you introduce us to our uh, tour guide prior to the start of the trip? So yes, we have started sending out these little um, lovely emails to tour participants, just kind of giving you a little bit of background about your tour guide, what their name is, you know, kind of what they're all about, and then a picture. So, so you will know who to look for before you land down uh, or touch down in Scandinavia. So we don't actually put you in physical contact with them, but we do, um, I guess, virtual contact. So you can at least get an idea of who you will be traveling with for the next nine to 14 days. So um, when will our 2021 tours be published? Oh, we just finished our 2020 brochure. Um, we have not started yet on 2021, but I will tell you a lot of our tours are very similar year after year. So if you do see a tour in our 2020 brochure that is of an interest to you, chances are it will be operated again in 2021. Um, if there's something in particular that you are wanting to make sure is going to happen for 2021, uh, give us a call or send us an email and we can let you know um, what, you know, what we're kind of planning for next year. So, um, so we do already have some, some irons in the fire for next year, but nothing just um, certain just yet. So, all right. Well, I will, I'm going to bring up this last slide. It will leave you looking over Flum and in the background here you'll see the Fretheim Hotel, which is one of the hotels that we use when we stay in Flum. So um, it's our it's our hometown where Arnie Brecky was um, born and raised. So thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon. If you do think of something later, please give us a call or send us an email. Like I said, we are happy to help you out in any way that we can. And we hope to see you in our favorite corner of the world this summer in Scandinavia. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great afternoon.